interesting topics. Peter? Okay, thank you, Franco, and for inviting us. So let me tell you a little bit about the background of COVID-19 net. So we were part of the NSF Open Knowledge Network program. And in particular, we were interested in linking three types of data, biomedical data, environmental data, and sociodemographic data. So then in January, COVID came along. We thought this is really a great use case where we need to integrate multidisciplinary data. So if we can go to the next slide, that shows you what we're trying to accomplish. So if you think about COVID, there are really three major areas. One is the host, which can be it's human, can be animals and so on. Then we have the pathogen, the virus, and then everything else, which we call the environment. So we wanna be able we want to enable researchers basically to look at this interplay between those different areas. So for example, looking at host pathogen interaction, how does the environment affect you know, uh, infections and, 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 and so forth. So that, that basically was the background. And we started, take a next slide please. So when we applied for this rapid grant, we, we had collaborators on the open knowledge uh, uh, network from the NSF. We had collaborators from UC Santa Barbara, it's in green, UCSF in orange and us in blue. And we kind of divided up in particular areas. So we are focusing on, on the blue areas like population characteristics, health data, pathogen information, environmental information, whereas our Collaborators from UC Santa Barbara, this is another rapid, focuses on transportation and supply chain, and as well as UCSF focuses on, on biomedicine. Um, next slide, please. So this is a kind of our prototype knowledge graph. So in a knowledge graph, you don't have information silos, but you link all the data together. So this is just you know, a prototype. We don't have much information in here yet. So on the right-hand side, you see information about the pathogen, the host. We have information about the epidemiology, about the, uh, this outbreak here. Mm -hmm. Then we focused a lot on the biomedical area. So we have more than 30,000 different strains in this knowledge graph, but it's all linked together. For each strain, we know all its variants of mutations, the effect on the genes, proteins. We know about protein-protein interactions. We link this together with publications. And then most importantly, we also link this to geolocation. We mapped out the entire geographic hierarchy of the world. So we can map strains or cases to any location in, in, in the world, all the way down to the census track level. Um, okay, next slide, please. So when we start this project, we wanted to be, this to be an automated project and that can be expanded by others. So we have a very transparent and reproducible workflow. So first of all, we start off with open access data. So we want to be able to redistribute the information. So we start with trustworthy public data repositories, and then we created a process that automatically extracts information and integrates that information. That's really the key, the integration of all this information. We spend a lot of, this is where most of the work goes. And with COVID, things change on a daily basis. So we actually have a daily update process. We have open source software, that is in, and on a daily basis, we update information, integrate information, and then upload that into a knowledge graph that then can be queried next. So we try to you know, follow the FAIR principles and everything is open, easily accessible. You can get to all our software, it's reusable and, and, and so forth. So with that, maybe going to our next slide. So you know, once we create this knowledge uh, graph, there are a few things we can, or the end user can do. First of all, you can query and, and browse the knowledge graph, find information. Um, so what's shown here on, on the top left, this is exploring protein-protein interaction between virus proteins and, and human proteins, for example. Then since it's in a graph form, you can interactively actually explore this. So in green are various strains of the virus in the particular geolocation. You can look at specific mutations, see how they're being shared among different strains, for example. So this is more an interactive analysis to you know, an exploratory analysis, but if you wanna do a more quantitative in-depth analysis, you can also access all that data easily in, in computational notebooks, such as RStudio or, or, or Jupyter Notebooks for a more reproducible type of analysis. And as I mentioned, you know, mapping onto geolocation is obviously very important for COVID. So we also, access this information through dashboards up on top right. We show, for example, San Diego County, current cases or predicted case counts. 
in the center here, we focus in on specific cities and look at, for example, various pre-existing conditions in those areas, like you know, what's the prevalence of cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and, and, and so forth, and how does it affect you know, um, the population at risk. And we can drill down further using the SWAF tool. We can drill down, for example, all the way to the census track level and, and look in, in more depth you know, at, at health uh, populations at risk and, and age structure and, and, and so forth. So we want to thank, yeah, next slide, please. We want to thank the NSF for funding and also the, the uh, Open Knowledge Network program we were part of and the collaborators there. And obviously we're also looking for collaborators. So we're looking for a number of collaborators. So if you have open data sets you wanna share with us, we like to discuss them, we like to integrate them. If you have code that extracts data from various data sources, that will be of interest to us. And obviously if you wanna use any of our data, and I think there are, we already talked to a number of people in this program, um, you know, we wanna hear from you too. And, and I think that's, that's about it. And so in the chat window, I'll, I'll paste um, a link to our COVID graph. So it's all available online so you can um, explore that yourself. Thank you.